I feel like I underpriced some of my cosmetics, but to be honest, mm-hmm. I don't care. I care about it being like, you know, affordable enough for someone to put it on and feel good. And I don't care too much about the profit. Like we. Let's jump in right into the conversation. We, as we said in our little introduction, there, you're the CEO and founder of Habiba's Beauty Bar. So tell me about a little bit about what that is and how that started. No, for sure. So Habiba's Beauty Bar is a vegan, um, cruelty-free cosmetics brand. Everything is made here in Winnipeg. It's actually made in my house. Um, I kind of took on this venture with Sophia Peralta. She's this amazing business student, and one day I was just doing makeup, like when. First, before quarantine started and the whole COVID thing started, I was doing ma- her makeup for the sh- photo shoot. And I was telling her about this passion of mine. And she was like, you're not starting this without me. Do not start this without me. And we just suddenly became partners, kind of like not officially, but sh- she's definitely my partner. I consider her so. Um, and yeah, it's been a wonderful journey. Just making and selling cosmetics and getting to know people through that. That's awesome. Um, where did you like come up with this idea? Um, basically, how it all started is that in summer 2019, I went back to Egypt. This is where I'm from. And over there, I, I really saw a need for, um, you know, there wasn't a lot of like, you know, cosmetic brands that took into um, consideration things like, you know, nature, you know, animals, cruelty free, vegan to actually make sure that it's not it doesn't have very bad kind of environmental impact. And I was doing people's makeup and just seeing that they felt empowered and felt confident just by me doing something so simple, really just got like giving me the idea to just go for it and and consider making my own cosmetics and and seeing how that goes. So I, um, I took the idea and I learned a lot about how to do that, how to, you know, do all the business legal stuff, how to learn the actual craft of it and of course I'm no expert but I just you know I found some basis and I found some things and then I had a little lab at my house and figured everything out and it was really wonderful journey so were you always into makeup like as a as a kid and just growing up and that was just like your uh, it made sense to start a business out of it or- um for me like uh, basically um throughout high school I have always felt like I I wanted to do um, I wanted to do something that was meaningful. To me at the time, makeup was an outlet for me to you know just experiment with. Um, I loved kind of trying on different looks and it made me feel really empowered when I put it on like when I put on, which sounds a little odd, like I am confident I'm, and, and I'm and already without makeup, right? But it's, it's just that it made me feel a little extra something. And, and that feeling when I started doing other people's makeup just inspired me to like really pursue my love for, for the craft. And, and that translates, I feel like that love, once I discovered it, it translated into so many avenues in my life of being able to make an impact, help others and, and, and throw it away of, of, I guess, um, I wouldn't say beautifying because I feel like everybody's beautiful, whether it's makeup or not, but just designing something and building something to make others feel included, um, to make others feel like, like confident, empowered, all that just translated into different parts of my life after. Wow. That's amazing, right? Because not a lot of companies, for example, like Mac, would not look into the sustainable output of their product, right? Like if it's impacting the environment or for me, like I'm not a beauty guru, right? I don't know a bunch of these makeup brands or what their brand association is, but just Mm -hmm. having that, why was that so important for you to be sustainably outlook for your products, making sure that it's vegan, environmentally friendly? Why was that so important for your products? So that was very important for my product because I believe in, in, in being, I, I feel like when something is made with care for everything around it, it really translates when people use it. They feel like they're cared for. They feel like they're also giving back somewhat to the environment. Like you have the option between choosing something that is, you know, tested on animals versus something that is not, right? And when you make that simple decision, it makes you feel better too. So for me, it was about 
feeling better and wanting others to also feel better because everything that we do counts and it all piles up. And, and like you said, even, even like I wasn't super aware about like a lot of environmental issues and what could be done about it at the time where I started this, but throughout this experience, I've actually learned like, I wouldn't say because of this experience mainly, but like I, um, a huge part of me getting my current internship at Winnipeg Trails to do like design and development and stuff with them was because of the skills that I learned and, and the values that my company also standed for, like with Habiba's Beauty Bar. Um, currently what I'm doing is it, a lot of it, all of it almost is about environmental sustainability. Like this week, actually, as we speak, we have launched a national bike count across Canada. So Winnipeg Trails deals with, um, Basically, they build biking trails. They they do a whole lot of things around the city and, and like building ramps, um, putting in. We are in the process of like planting 150,000 trees mm -hmm. in by the floodway north of Winnipeg. It's just a lot of projects that are fueled by you know the need for a greener world and and, and a more beautiful world really, and, and where we all feel included and safe. And it's just been amazing. Wow. So you mentioned that it was homemade, like you make it at your house. Why, mm -hmm. why go the route of that? Whereas many other companies would also go like a drop shipping. You could easily have done the drop stripping route and outsourced it to another supplier. Why was it important for you to one, keep it local and keep it in your house? What mm -hmm. was that decision like? So there was two parts to that decision. Um, the first, the first one is that I didn't want to do something like drop shipping because quality mattered a lot to me. Um, how I made it wasn't like, isn't, I'm not a chemist, obviously. So I got really, really good bases for the cosmetics. And what I would do is that I would add to it things like, like oils that would enrich the base for, for example, the lip gloss, which was a really, really great seller. Um, also I would add pigments and I would just make it mine in a way. And, and, Oh, and that I feel got across to a lot of people because Sophia and I would genuinely be working on everything from like selecting the tubes to making the logos to sending it off to get printed. And then when you see it in front of you, it just feels so much more special. And her and I would just be sitting in my room trying to actually put everything together and sanitize everything 10 trillion times, which was not the funnest part, but it was, it was made me feel really good. And my family also was helping out in hers too. And it just was a lot of love put, in, put into the product. And that's something that I feel like I couldn't get from drop shipping, for example. But the option to, I guess, outsource some of the manufacturing and, and to, to scale up, that's always on the table and I'm not opposed to that. But with my current, I guess, engagements and life right now, it's, it's very difficult to take that step. So, so was it more about putting out a quality piece of product rather than quantity and that was the shift that caused you to go home uh, locally produced or even home produced in fact right mm -hmm. what was that process like I know like you said you're not a chemist right how was that like how did you start doing that was it for me like I, I would have no idea where to start with makeup so <laughs> yeah. what was that research process like for you I honestly just reached out to like um, people in the beauty making community. I've met this like amazing cosmetic scientist. I've, I've signed up to be part of the cosmetics association and they also offer up some safety training and things like that to kind of help you navigate this world. Um, also a lot of resources are found online for things like that. You'd be w really surprised. And like, it just, for me, it was just like, bring it on. Like I learned so much in, in like, and it took a while to get to kind of putting a product out to make sure it's actually good quality, but it was, it was really, really amazing. And, and like you said, it was, it's definitely quality over the quantity and selling. And, and a lot of it too, is like, I, I found this other supplier that would, wouldn't do drop shipping per se, but they would actually manufacture it in Canada and Ontario. Um, it's, also sustainable uh, like cruelty free vegan I can definitely guarantee the quality because it's in Canada as well and like we have very strict regulations in terms of what to put into cosmetics and and other things so I I looked at that but the cost was not the cost actually sorry the price of selling it would be so high and 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 I really I feel like I underpriced some of my cosmetics but to be honest <laughs> I don't care I care about it being like you know, affordable enough for someone to put it on and feel good. And I don't care too much about 
the profit. Like we ended up losing a little bit at the end, but it's okay. Because I genuinely, it was more, way more about the message. Like um, on, um, on, on a day, like a random day, I got a message from a customer that had told me that she's been going through something really, really tough at home. And the only thing that motivated her to get up and do something different was that she got her product and she really wanted to do her makeup to just feel a little different. And, and that was like my motivation to just keep going and keep doing this and, you know, all that. <laughs>